Hey there, fashion friends. Welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you have joined me here today. On this channel, I talk about taking a minimalist approach to our fashion, but without losing our own personal style and our own personal edge. I also like to talk about trends and how we can incorporate that into our style without losing the timeless integrity of our wardrobe. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. If you missed my previous video, 10 ways to be trendy without spending money for spring, then I will make sure to link that down below so you don't miss that as well, because a lot of those trends are definitely trickling in to summer and are going to be relevant all year round. So, all right, so today's episode, 10 low cost ways to incorporate trends into your summer style. Woo, yes, summer is here. Okay, I've said before, you guys know I love trends. However, I do, you know, take a minimalist approach to my closet, just meaning that I like to choose pieces that are more timeless, classic, have good quality, and are going to sustain me in preference, uh, in style, as well as, uh, you know, quality over time. So yes, that is definitely kind of my approach, but I also just really love fashion and trends and just pulling in from all different directions, pulling in anything that I'm feeling really inspired by. And a lot of times that is, you know, trends. For the most part, I just want little things, easy things, low cost things, or no cost things that I can take and incorporate into my more uh, minimalist classic sort of pieces to give them a little bit of flavor, give them a little flair, and really have some fun, you know, with different sort of recipes as we could call it. Yeah. So if you're similar and you want some just easy ways to incorporate trends without having to make big investments on something that maybe will be fleeting or you won't be into later on, then this is definitely the episode for you. So let's get started. The first one is Bermuda shorts. Yes. But for today's sake, for today's low cost option, we are going to be doing DIY Bermuda shorts. Yes. And what does that entail? Getting a little snippy. You know I love getting a little snippy. So these are jeans that you might have seen on one of my shorts where I was debating on keeping these because they were so close. Oh, to these guys actually. I need to be careful with these. So first we're just going to, gonna sort of measure where I want. I'm not, I don't get fancy with this. I just sort of always account for error, you know? Okay. Yes. So I'm gonna make the first cut. Okay. All right, that looks like a good length. Yeah, safe length. All right, now I'll do the other side. Okay, there we go. Yeah. All right, let's try these guys on. Not bad, right? Yeah, that's cute. And there we go. DIY Bermuda shorts. Number two is baby bangs. Mmm, cutie. I definitely do not have that problem. I mean, I could. I could go baby with the with this haircut. No, this is a great option because bangs are very easy. Easy one that if one, if you don't like it, they grow up pretty fast Two, it's not like a full commitment to like a full on haircut. So I think bangs are always like a good one to just try out and have some fun with. And it's also just like a great way to, you know, spice up your hair. If you're kind of feeling a little bit like, wow, great way to just, boop, you know, do a little something to spice it up a bit. Number three is mermaid core. This is definitely a very new trend, but the stuff that's incorporated in this trend is very timeless. I mean, it's like, you know, blue sequence type stuff, you know, seashells, pearls, you know, the like seafoam blue, that kind of stuff. So it's not like it's completely out of the blue, not like you're gonna have to get a bunch of new stuff. Now, for me, I'm not somebody that, you know, wears a lot of color or a lot of detail like sequence or seashells or anything like that. But I do love like the idea of, of the mermaid core. You know, I'm definitely a fan of Little Mermaid. I was definitely that, you know, like eight year old, you know, playing in the pool, doing the hair flip. I was there. Yeah, I like, I like the idea of incorporating it. So I've got these cutie earrings from MLE and they definitely have that sort of mermaid core vibe. This is like a natural sort of pearl. It definitely has a little bit of that raffian sort of beachy texture on that one. So these are a great option for kind of bringing in a little touch of the mermaid core without, you know, having to invest a bunch into it. So if you're somebody like me, yeah, just similar thing. You can incorporate it with, let's get this guy in first. 
You can incorporate it with earrings. You could incorporate it with fingernails. I've seen some really cool fingernail art that's very mermaid core-esque. Maybe it's a bag or a necklace. And I think this is makes it a lot more kind of elegant and effortless when you just bring little touches um, into your more classic timeless pieces. But yeah, have some fun with it. Mm. I love these earrings. Emily doesn't make these anymore, unfortunately, but she does have some other amazing earrings on her website. Um, that will still give you sort of that fun vibe. Okay, should we keep these on? Yeah, I'm kind of feeling that. All right, next trend is raffia. This is a great one because it's so timeless. Like raffia is always a part of our summer. So it is one that you can definitely just wear every single year. So if this is something you do want to invest in, like maybe you find like a really cute raffia bag that's a little bit more spendy, but good quality, then go for it because this is definitely something that is always coming back every summer. Again, obviously this summer it's really having a moment, but um, because I think of, because of the mermaid court, there's other little easy, easy things that you can bring in like earrings, belts, shoes, those type of things are all really easy ways of incorporating raffia. I don't actually currently have any. I am definitely on the hunt for a good raffia bag because I do, love the idea of bringing in just that little bit of texture that yummy sort of warmth to a summer look because i feel like a summer look can fall flat really easily i think a raffia bag is such a good way of bringing in some texture of bringing in some interest to a look number five is summer black you guys know i love me some black i love black all year every year every day so in summer, it's no different for me. I wear black during summer all the time. So it's kind of fun to see that it's on the trends list. With summer black, what is key is breathable fabrics for sure. Okay, so this is my linen jumpsuit from Everlane. I don't know if they make this anymore. I'll have to double check. But I mean, you can find linen and stuff everywhere. I think linen is definitely a very current fabric as well. Like everybody is, you know, going nuts for linen. This is sort of a perfect example of summer black is like the more breathable type fabrics so if you're wearing black polyester then yes the sun will be attracted it will be absorbed in your fabric and just stay in there and then you will just overheat breathable fabrics like natural fabrics that heat will release and you'll just be feeling breezy all day number six is ballerina bun all right so clearly i cannot demonstrate this one so i'll just show you some examples what an easy way to incorporate a trend is just the way you style your hair. So if you have long hair, this is a great option for you to be able to be effortless and be on trend. So literally just wake up in the morning and put it up. So that one's easy. Number seven is 90s minimalism. You know, this is, this is right in my wheelhouse. We've got like your vintage straight jeans, which is so 90s, so Rachel, right? Um, it's like the vintage inspired high-waisted jeans and then just like a nice basic tank. Definitely the contrast of like the tighter jeans with the more oversized top is definitely very 90s minimalist. I also think it's just really about taking your normal basics and sort of elevating them in a way, whether it's in a way that you style it. So if it's a button-up shirt, not just putting on a button-up shirt, buttoning it and just leaving it, really being mindful of how you're styling it. Um, maybe it's that you're doing the cuffed sleeves, maybe, you know, like a popped collar, whatever it may be, keeping in mind sort of little zhuzhes, little playful details to elevate the basics a little bit further. Number eight is athletic sneakers. Yeah, so uh, easy one, just go get your normal <laughs> sneakers and throw them on with some with some pants, with some trousers, with a suit. Yes, done and done. That's how you elevate something that's sort of conventional is by contrasting it with something on the other end of the spectrum. So that's how you're going to elevate the more athletic sneaker is by bringing in those contrasts. Number nine is rosettes. This was definitely nineties. Like I had the sweatshirt with all the little rosettes all, all over it when in the nineties for sure. So yeah, it's definitely nineties, but it is something that's always around. I see rosettes all the time. Okay, so a simple way or a low cost way, you can get these for decent prices. I think this was like $15 on Amazon. Um, and then it's just got like a little pin so you can just do all sorts with it. So you can, you know, add it to, there you go. Just like a cutie little, cutie little detail. But another way is if you wanna kinda go a little bit more bold with it. This is like a, a tie scarf. Yeah, okay, there we go. You just add, there we go. Okay. 
So I can't actually see here. But there you can see as, you know, you're just kind of adding it to another accessory, the scarf, um, just kind of adds like a little bit more, I don't know, a little more volume to it. So yeah, it's just like a fun little way to add another little trend to your more basic looks. And number 10, the best for last, super short haircut. Yes, so super short haircuts are very much on trend. I recently got my haircut and I thought, you know, I didn't even know this was a trend, seriously, um, until actually I was do gonna do this video, but I just really wanted to go short again, like even more short than my hair was because I just felt like, oh, it'll be easier for summer, like as if my hair was <laughs> so long uh, before. I think I, I, I should have gone shorter. I think was really my direction is I wanted to go even shorter. So now I feel like I'm in this like limbo mode of like wanting to shave my head and wanting my hair to just grow out to what it was. So if you're somebody that's looking for a big change, maybe you have really long hair and you're not really sure where you wanna go, go extreme, go super short. Maybe you're somebody that already has somewhat short hair and you're like me and you're just like feeling it, go super short. Or maybe you already have super short hair and now you can be like, yeah, yay, I'm on trend. You're always on trend in my book, clearly. It is a much bigger commitment than say the little baby bangs, uh, definitely. So you gotta kind of be ready for it. But honestly, like I always say, hair always grows back. So if you're kind of feeling it, you're, you kind of want to go for it, just go for it. Cause your hair will grow back. Okay. And worst case scenario, you just wear a hat for a while. No big deal. Truth of the matter is I do think uh, hair is just such a great tool for bringing style and elevation to your everyday style. Uh, when you have like a good haircut, it definitely brings in a lot more style. So yeah, there we go. All right, my friends. So those are 10 low cost ways of incorporating trends this summer. I hope that you found today's episode helpful. If there is a low cost way or a no cost way of incorporating some trends that I missed, then definitely comment below, let us know, share that wealth, share that knowledge. We are all in this together. Tomorrow's Hey Fashion Friends newsletter will be unleashing your inner stoic for better style. So if you don't wanna miss out on that, make sure to click the link down below in the description to sign up with your email and make sure after you do that, that you check your spam folder for the confirmation email and that you do confirm the subscription. Well, I don't know about you, but it is absolutely gorgeous here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So I'm gonna go out and have some fun on this while I'm recording this on a Friday. So uh, I hope that you're having a lovely, beautiful, wonderful day wherever you are. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other. And we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.